Hello and welcome to yet another scholarship opportunity. Fasten your seedbed as I take you to the United Kingdom for the prestigious fully funded Commonwealth Shared Scholarship. It is a master's scholarship and covers all costs including your flight ticket to the United Kingdom. If this is your first time in my channel, my name is Eugene and you are welcome to the home of international opportunities. Do wait to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss a potent update. Here is a quick outline for this video. First, we are going to look at a potent point and then we look at the benefits and then we look at eligible countries and other eligibilities and then I give you some tips on how you can win this scholarship and finally we look at how to apply and the eligible courses so do not skip this video it is short and you're gonna enjoy it. do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and share it to your friends and family as a video bonus i am introducing to you grammarly an online tool that can help you write award-winning letter of motivation and essays sign up for free with the first link in the description below so now let's take a look at some important points one um, IATS or TOEFL is not mandatory for this scholarship. Um, there are different ways the UK universities might want you to prove your English proficiency, but you do not need to bother about IATS or TOEFL. Secondly, there is no application fee for this scholarship. That is amazing. You can apply to this scholarship if you have a 2-2 or a 2-1 or a first class. So generally, almost everybody can apply to this scholarship. For this scholarship, you can apply to as many courses as you want and to as many universities as you want. It is a two-way application process which means that you have to apply to the university for admission and also submit an application for the scholarship. We are going to take a look at that later. For this scholarship, you can choose to remain in the UK after your scholarship program. We will take a look at this later. You can choose to work during your study program as long as you take permission from the CSC. The deadline for the CSC scholarship is 20th of December 2021 and you have to resume in the UK by September 2022. So as you can see right now I am on the official website um, of the CSC scholarship and I'm going to take a look at the value of this scholarship. So there's going to be a link to this page in the description you can check it after this video. But make sure to stick to this video so that you don't miss the important point. So we're going to take a look at the value of this scholarship. It is a fully funded scholarship, so definitely it covers everything that you can think about, uh, all that you will need. Um, it covers your airfare from your home country to the UK and return back to your home country. So that is fully covered. And also the approved tuition fees um, is fully covered. And then the stipend, the living allowance that will help you um, in the UK is also covered. So you get about 1,133 to 1,390 euro per month. That's a lot of money. And um, you also what is also covered is the warm clothing allowance. And also your thesis grant is covered also. And also study grants and cost of study related travels within the UK or overseas are fully covered and also reimbursement of uh, the cost of mandatory tuberculosis test. So if you, have, if you have to apply for a visa, you have to do this test, the tuberculosis test, and you get refunded or reimbursed um, once you get to the UK. Okay, what is also covered is um, child allowances. Um, you get a child allowance for the first child, which is 485 pounds. And if you're taking more than one child to the UK for your studies, um, you're going to get um, 120 pounds um, per month for the second child um, and the third child under the ages of 16. So if you have declared a disability, um, a full assessment of your needs and eligibility for additional financial support will also be covered by the CSC. Now let's take a look at the countries that are eligible for this scholarship. Then we'll take a look at the general eligibility. But first, the countries that are eligible for this scholarship include um, these countries right here. You can see on the website, uh, we have African countries, Cameroon, um, Gambia, Ghana, Indian. Uh, we have uh, Nigeria, Malawi, Pakistan. So 
just go through the list now let's take a look at the general um, eligibility you can read through the eligibility you must be a citizen of the um, countries that are eligible for this scholarship so you can take a look at the other uh, eligibility criteria not um, too strict so right now i'm just going to give you some few tips that will increase your chances in winning this scholarship but first there's something that you have not done um, you have not hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so just try to do that hit on the red button subscribe and also like this video okay so what are the reviewing team going to look at for first of all they want to look at your academic merit okay so if you have done really well in your first degree that's definitely a plus and also the quality of your plan of study because you're going to be writing some essays and also the potential impact on the development of the candidate's home country so whatever you are going to do how is it going to affect your home country so you have to really sit down and think about this and you want to look at a problem that is currently faced in your country and it should be related to your course of studies and also you want to make sure that um, when you write this it is really captivating and it is also realistic so i want to advise you to use the grammarly um, app and uh, the link is in the description the first link in the description just um, sign up and that will really help you in making sure you don't make grammatic errors in your essays so you're going to be writing four um, different essays and part of that is that you're going to be talking about how your course is going to um, affect your home country so as i earlier said you have to think about a problem and tie your study around that problem and also you want to include long-term goals um, for example you're going to be involved in a phd after your program to further um, get more um, skills to tackle this very problem you want to set up realistic um, ideas and goals that are actually achievable so if you have also been involved in some voluntary activities that will also be um, of help and also a plus and also you want to talk about ways that you have demonstrated um, leadership skills check out my video where i talked about how to write an award-winning letter of motivation that will also be a very good guide so now let's take a look at how to apply so the first thing you want to do is to choose one of the eligible courses in one of the eligible universities so the first thing you want to do is to choose one of the eligible courses in one of the eligible universities so we're going to take a look at the list of the approved courses and the universities now then um, after you have chosen you have to apply for admission to that university and at the same time you can also apply to the scholarship so we're going to take a look at that after we've looked at the approved courses so i'm not i'm just going to click on the full list of approved courses and then we can take a look at the courses right here um, you can see um, the courses are divided into um, different teams so we have promoting global prosperity we have science and technology for development we have strengthening global peace security and governance strengthening health systems and capacity strengthening resilience and responses to crisis as you can see the universities are the left and then the courses are the right so you want to go through the courses and pick the one that relates to you so they are all uh, master courses so once you've decided on the course you want to apply for and the university you want to come to the next link right here um, to view all the participating uk universities so i'm going to click on that also and then you can see the link to the universities and the slot so each university have a number of slots uh, you can also take that into consideration um, when applying to a particular course so for example this university um, um, can only give two slots um, aston university can also give just two scholarships and you can see their email you can ask questions you can see the website also bangor university have five slots and so on and so forth so um, you can see Cranfield University has nine slots. So you want to apply to this university, you can simply um, click on the link to visit their website. I'm just going to do that right now. And then you can see more description about the scholarship on this page, what it covers, um, how to apply, 
and also then check out their application procedure for this particular university definitely you're going to find it here so they have the courses that are eligible for this university right here you can check it out so you can see how to apply you can read through before you click on the apply now so this is definitely going to take you to the application portal where you can um, follow the procedures okay so now let's go back to the scholarship okay let's assume that you have submitted your application to that university or the course that you want to apply for and now the next thing you need to do is to apply also to the um, commonwealth shared scholarship so you have to come down here uh, you can see the application deadline is 20th of december 2021 uh, 16 gmt and then you have to click on this link click here to apply so once you click on that link it takes you to the application portal what you need to do right here is to put in your nationality so i'm going to put in that um, nigeria and then i'm going to click on next and then it takes you straight up to the registration portal so i'm first of all going to um, enter my dictates and submit this form to register and then i can start uploading and filling out the application forms and um, so uploading my document so it is that easy right now i'm going to show you some um, of the points i talked about earlier like the IETS. if you come to general condition um you will see that right here on the fourth point csc does not require any candidates to take an IETS english um, test you should note, however, that as a further condition of your scholarship, you may be required um, by your university to provide evidence of a particular level of English language proficiency. Okay. And also, if you come down, you also see where I talked about um, being able to stay back in the UK. And let's see the condition for that. So let's look at the point right here. The CSC will consider a request to extend your leave to remain in the UK after your award only if you wish to move from master's to PhD studies, strict conditions apply. Lastly, for this video, we're just going to take a look at inquiries. Um, if you have any question, you can drop them in the comment section. Um, but still, you can also send a question, your inquiries directly to CSC by using the contact us form you can see right here you just click on it and send your um your inquiries that is it guys for this video and if you're applying to this scholarship i want to wish you good luck and um you can drop it in the comment section just tell me that you're applying to this scholarship and do not forget to use grammarly that's going to be a good help and i'll see you in my next video success